Well, this is a region that really loves its football, the industrial west of Germany. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Borussia Dortmund against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. would still be around but they certainly bounced back and of course got to the Champions League final in 2013 they are a fabulous football club Lee well they are one word springs to mind for me charisma really like this club I think they've got everything that a neutral watching a game in the Champions League would cherish great ground great atmosphere both home and away when they turn up and also they've got a great kick and introducing the Borussia Dortmund side Roman Burki begins in goal Lukas Piszczek plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Axel Witzel starts with Thomas Delaney in central midfield. And the main forward is Paco Alcácer. And the PSG team looks like this. Keylor Navas starts in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Ander Herrera starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the attack today is Kylian Mbappe. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Royce. tackling here is Juan Bernat Bernat now this is Neymar Bernat Bernat here is Juan Bernat well the word dynamism certainly applies to Marco Reus Lee what do you expect to see from him in this match well, basically, you've got to keep him out of the box because he's got such a brilliant finishing ability that you give him half a yard, he will score. So keep him as far away from your goal as possible. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. straight into the meat of the penalty area not messing around with that clearance Bernat he has time to play it over here is Juan Bernat Herrera now Gay Looking for the right moment for that final pass. Mbappe with it. Gay is going forward well here. Now that. Every pass hitting its target. Gay. It needs an accurate cross. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Hazard. Hakimi. Torgan Azar. He has plenty of support. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. 
And I can remember watching PSG when they didn't have the attached glamour that is part of the story now. It's almost intriguing watching them in the Champions League these days, Lee. Well, it is when they're in a position to go out, really, and buy any player they want. That does not give you an advantage, especially when it comes to winning your own league, but also in the Champions League as well. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. And fired from the flank into the area. It comes to nothing. Hazard. Alcantar. Hakimi. Bitsel. And this is a voice. The outcome is a goal kick here. Delaney, Sancho now, and still for them to produce something exciting, looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again, Di Maria, here's Mbappe, under Herrera, Minier, moving the ball effectively, Di Maria, under Herrera, Gay, Minier. They really look after the ball when they have it. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. of messing around with the clearance an opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation it's Neymar's corner fisted clear an abundance of space. They could pick out a teammate. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Delaney. Marco Rice. Hazard. And the cross is very much on. They've won possession again. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Under Herrera. Under Herrera. Di Maria. Now Minier. Mbappe with it. Giving the ball away. And green space aplenty for Dortmund to run into. Hazard, looking confident with the ball at his feet. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. He's now got to be extra careful, a verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going, in the book.
And the cross sent in by Royce. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. The crowd haven't had too much to cheer about for a while, have they, Derek? They need a goal here. He's driven in the corner. It's not a particularly good corner there. Now Minier. Verratti. Neymar. Verratti now. They've regained possession. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Now well, they're on the scent of something positive. Paco Alcata. And not afraid to have a go from long range. Competence from the keeper. Yeah, concentration for goalkeepers. He was spot on there. Played into the center of the box. Well, a sloppy clear. Kalo Navas with a terrific save. Absolutely genius. And now the delivery. And there the first half ends here in Dortmund. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Verratti. Here is Juan Bernat. Gay. Under Herrera. Marquinhos. Minier. Verratti. This is Neymar. And that crossing possibilities given away, and after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Given away, Di Maria passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead under Herrera. Mbappe, and here's Herrera. Can't miss, surely! And Burki acquits himself superbly. So the corner played into the box. Clattered away. Under Herrera. Will he play it in? Under Herrera. Neymar couldn't hang on to it. Marco Royce, a player we talk about a lot on the big occasion, but Lee, has this been a bit of a below par display from him? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. Using his physical strength to shield it. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. And now Gay. Minier. Under Herrera. Now Minier. 
Idrissa Gay. And that was a very fine read. Half an hour remaining then. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think he can think anything else after that challenge. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Bernat Verratti now here is Juan Bernat Verratti Neymar they do pass the ball with authority here's Mbappe Di Maria and teammates to play it to and cleared away Mbappe in the centre under pressure to get it away. Jaden Sancho. Royce. Sancho. Delaney. Good sir. Witzel. Good sir. Alert defending. Verratti now. Neymar, Bernat, Verratti, this is Neymar, under Herrera, Verratti now, Neymar, Neymar playing with purpose and control. On the ball, Torgan Azar. No oh, stylish. The offside flag had to go up, and it did. Yeah, look along the line. Look along the line. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Minier. Gay. Here's Mbappe. Outrageously skillful, and he takes on the shot. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. It's Neymar's corner, taking care of business defensively here. Di Maria and very straightforward for Roman Burki. Well, we can see the stats. They don't lie. They haven't created enough chances today, but the quality in the end should pull them through in this game. Been frustrating for the fans, though. Here is Juan Bernat. Good numerical situation. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Here is Juan Bernat. And Neymar. And crossed in the direction of the back post. An opportunity in the air, but he's made a bit of a mess of that one. Oh, it's really a shocking effort. I could do better than that, and I can't head the ball. Witzel. Hakimi. 
And Thomas Delaney. Promising attack this from Borussia Dortmund. What can they do from here? Options are plenty. Pablo Sarabia. Inside the final five minutes now. And on the ball, Sarabia. Gay. Beautiful pass. Verassi. Crossing into the middle. No nonsense clearance. And they do like to press whenever they can. Well, the clock is ticking. Dortmund are running out of time. The fans are getting anxious. They're getting expectant. They want to win it. Defenders need to cover. A chance to whip it in. Marco Reus! No worries for the keeper. And Witzel with it. And Dortmund committed to getting forward. Can they grab... A... Well, that's a foul. And it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here full time then and Paris Saint-Germain have work to do already where did it all go wrong for PSG it's a poor start to their Champions League season it's not a disaster in Sonic game one we can't afford any more slip-ups that result will eat away at the players until game two comes along well this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening Lee well, grabbing that late winner was the icing on the cake. What a good performance from him.